You can instantly get out. I think TNC need a mid hero that can gap close Result or at least get to the same kind of scaling range as an Ember Spirit because I think TNC, just in case, want to be able to go to the late game with OG. I'm, I'm just a bit afraid for OG because if the landing phase doesn't go really, really well for them, they won't have enough damage Let's to do go. with that push. Oh, there he oh is. God. There he is. <laughs> We know that face. We know that face so well. He's just been lurking in the back and he finally shows himself with Will TNC's Huskar lineup. Is it going to cheese their way into the next round? Tiny, when he gets really strong, can do somewhat okay, but at the same time, I think Ember is too slow at dealing with Huskar. I think the top lane and leave Moon going up against the Void. I and in fact, Nortel, are you... He's hunting into the trees to try and find Dim Jimmy. He actually goes to the old school classic Jimmy hide hunter spot up in those trees, but he's not gonna find him. Is that his fly? Well, he's trying to body block up Raven. Not enough control. It's actually a kill going on. Miracle of all is the mid lane that finds the first blood. They're still chasing down Crit on the top lane. This OG safe lane will survive. But Miracle first blood? Ember was already gonna have a hard enough a time as it is. Oh, the avalanche, it connects. Demon, too low. The shadow wave, one more attack. It actually comes in from crit to find it. VS makes his way up, looking for the stun onto no tell. He's already pretty low, and Raven, no cold arrows, no gust. He doesn't really have any. Crit will join the iron Radiant shell. We put one onto the ogre. He just slow down the VS with a gust on the drone range. They push them back. Cold arrows as well, keeping him away. But then the stun. Ventral Spirit's gonna burn up the iron shell. But the shallow grave from Demon, perfect time. Crit will die. The VS gets back in range of the safety of the tier one tower. Now it's Demon, who's still in a little bit of trouble. He will finally drop. Fly looking for more thunders. Moon makes a break for the tree line. Fly, he needs more damage with the iron shell. He's almost got it. Raven needs to run. He's attacked at the creep wave into the troll. The Bash is there as a double kill for Fly. Wow, it's actually so hard to see the Ion and Shell. The he solo oh, killed the Huska. It looks like it was the Heavy Spirit committal. No, they're gonna let it go. It looks like they're gonna let it go. Miracle they're, still... they're waiting for Tiny, and Tiny's gonna smoke in. It looks like he has Bloodlust, he has Shadow Blade. I don't believe TNC have any. There's no sentries. There's no sentries down. They won't understand that no tells right until from VS in the tree line. Sons of Alba, they just off the drone under the T1 tower. Dark City Wall is pretty used to damage from that fight the kill and now Cuckoo. Life breaks up a great chrono, catching three on the back line. This will give TNC a chance to Cuckoo with a shallow grave. He'll stand his ground, but that'll be brought down. OG, they may just have the sustain required to win this fight as they get the extra stun. Poor loss for TNC. Miracle arrives in the nick of time. Pick me up. Or Cuckoo. It's crazy to think they don't know. Like, there's no Chronosphere, so you wouldn't think at OG that they would slip in, but there it is. Aegis the Immortal, like, goes the way of the Huskar. However, they're isolated. Three of them out on their own. Moon. He puts down the wall. He'll get a couple of illusions. The life break falls for Cuckoo. No tell in through the rear. However, Avalanche toss. Say goodbye to the Aegis the Immortal Demon. Already used the Grave on himself. Do a couple of one charges. Won't commit them. And now Cuckoo. Sam, he has to let the Chronosphere go when they're all out. And they can move over towards Moon, but then he searches in. He wants to fight this one. Miracle's already got a triple kill. There's none of his steering chains up for another one second. No way to toss him forward, but he'll have his spirit up if he wants to jump towards the face of Void. Time walk is off cooldown at one second time, and Miracle gets there. The time walk will allow him to get back in range of the tier three. Over off the Silver Edge, walking right behind Cuckoo. There's no, there's no sentry wars, there's just the towers I'll have to rely on. And with a tether, he'll run in. Avalanche throwing Cuckoo back out again. It's a good chrono position for Sam, but he's still waiting for it. Now he gets it. The Shallow Grave will keep Huskar up. Full hero Shimoji caught out. They try and swap into a safe position. Nain leads back in. Run up a no tell. Cuckoo can't hold it, however. There's too many iron shells up. It's all one for one trade off. Make that one for two. As the Ventral Spirit will fall as well. Miracle copy too much damage from this Draw Ranger. Very, very low. Faces Void needs a time lock as well if he can find this kill over on crit as the fight will separate. They're around the ages. The slide of fist. This will actually keep Miracle out of the fight for a little bit longer until Void moves over. Not in range for a punch. It's crit down south. Miracle up north. He's turning around with the spirit damage to the slide of fist. Demons even so low. They chat away when they bring down Miracle. And they'll bring down crit as well. TNC. 
compelling OG. Moon lucky to survive TPing out a little bit further up on the top lane. His sentries are down, there's no one in Vizzing close. No observer wards as well. Totally and they are, oh, wow, really? Really? Raven just slips around to the side, oh, he wants to do his farm, and the side of Fist here in chase, didn't connect from Miracle. The Chrono is up in six seconds, OG must be careful here. Money will almost be worth it. She doesn't have Surge. You've only got Greaves up. Now, the tether forward. Crit does have Reload. Came in a three-man chrono. Sam hits it. Miracle wants to try and fight, but they're probably going to lose. Crit knows the Greaves and the one charges. Raven finally gets it close up to find the kill. The two-for-one trade-off. They move around the dark sea wall. Miracle back in again. A double searing chain. They have enough. Tiny comes back in again, too. Surged up, Iron Shell into Silver Edge. Where's that sentry? There are two of them down. You'll get the avalanche, the stun is there. Slide of fist. It is going to be enough damage to get through the face of Void, but the throws on the back line. Peppering OG down. Wow, what team fight coming out from TNC. That was like one of those chronos that you're afraid. It, like, if you miss, you'll hit zero, but if you hit it, you get one, and you Radiant's already got to back up. Unless attack. you want to have heavy damage done to your buildings. Void perhaps looking for a chronosphere. Yes, can't get there in time. No dubbing, very defensive. The bottom lane, Miracle. He gets it with the double damage to work. Mana Style sends the two illusions back over the creep. And then Spirits away up to the top lane. Now Demon Cuckoo caught out by their loads. Um, as their TP sport to rotate it back, and they are just dead. Man, Moon was the bane. Cuckoo tried to turn on the damage, but it's too much. This is the problem when OG can bring in so much support so quickly. Playing, playing with their food. <laughs> Enough TNC is really feeding them that much. And now it's time for Roshan. So OG, they have the confidence this time around to slip into the pit. They have the damage because Satani is no longer on the top lane. Meanwhile, on bot lane, and Miracle has a big one. Miracle will die. He's dead for a good 80 seconds. No buyback available. OG will at least have the advantage. They started Roshan before this happened. So TNC can't just move over and force an OG fight. Would have been a good time for it as well. Chrono's coming back off cooler in 10 seconds' time. And they go to go on no. Actually, Miracle now actually has his buyback, but no tell. Caught out. They still have swap available, so if they want to hold no tell in close, they can do so. Faces boy, Chrono's up, leans forward, doesn't have really a great target to go on, and the relocate is there. Crit will take him back. But they know Io is on the on the return. I wonder if they're gonna like buy back Io and or buy back on Emma and spring a trap. Oh no! They swap fly in! They're looking for more! They're actually gonna bring down fly with a half guard jump, Void moves over, Chrono on the crit, they really are just committing for one kill or the other. They don't care as long as they get the kill, which they'll be able to do so they get through the tier 2 tower. Buyback's available for all three players of OG, but their base is now under attack. Buyback trying to scare TNC off, but without Miracle's three, name on the buyback. And he comes! The big wall! Three men with the avalanche! Fly will arrive! They're buying time! Still no Miracle! Pull back! He has not done it yet! He's waiting in time out! Cougar will battle against Chris! The cheese will keep him alive! Also giving the regeneration to Nurtel, who's hunting the back lines, keeping the Nurtel door off the Cougar! He turns! Nurtel will drop! The Miracle is alive once again! And maybe TNT don't want to fight! The blink from Nurtel! He gets away, still gusted up! He'll get back to the tier 3 tower. Miracle looking to make the space moon again with another jump hit. But the Cuckoo is the Husker. You've got to fear him. Not to mention, fear Raven. That damage with a gust pushing Miracle away. The face is void on 30 life. He'll time walk off the damage. Raven in the trees. No time. will finally get a kill onto a TNC member. And Miracle will make it twice. Faceless void dropping. Our TNC players, they have buyback too. But that patience from OG not bringing Miracle back in. Is Husker actually out? He may go down. Tiny's right behind him. He'll end up hitting him. Doesn't actually break the blood. But Cuckoo will stand his ground. Demon moves over. Giving the extra armor. Down no tell. That defeat not more than he can chew. With a shallow grave, you bet your Nelly. They're gonna go through more. Cuckoo, life break up in two seconds time. Flies in the free line. Thrown down by the Scardi. Miracle guts it up. This could be huge if they can find him. Cuckoo, life break, he lost the vision. Miracle got it around the tree line. He'll blink himself down and TP out. They will not catch the Ember Spirit.
<laughs> Drow Ranger might actually have to go for it. HOD. It's, uh, oh, Butterfly's pretty good too. Build a Satanic on him too. I, I think the summon creep might actually be like that. Oh, oh Chrono, top lane, Miracle caught out. Again, good timing on the gust. Miracle held in position. He's down. Not respecting seconds. the void. Yeah. Oh, he got a Shadow Blade. That's cool. Right? <laughs> it's, it's, it slipped in. It's like the best I have to deal with a split pushing Ember Spirit because if you're really quick, you can, like, if he blinks any Chronos, he still has, like, a small cast point on the Chrono Spirit and then you can, like, slide. Okay, and you'll already force TNT to fall back. It's just a bad precedent to set, though. Like, your Ember Spirits has died twice now. Last time they played, they almost won that mid-fight. That was when OG had Ages and Cheese. Now, they don't have Ages, they don't have Cheese, and now it's a long, even longer respawn on the Ember Spirit. Is he gonna have to buy it back here, or are they gonna have to lose a Rax? You don't wanna be here. Uh, they're trying to go for a trade-off. No Tails going into the bomb. No, wait, they go for GG push. They're pushing onto the Tier 4 Towers. They put Cuckoo on the front lines, and they may have enough. Here's your buyback from the Ember. The bottom melee is not down just yet. They try and find the Dark Seer back wall. Not enough from Moon to keep TNC in the mix. No tail split pushing bottom, melee wrecked already Radiant fallen. Uh, this is a big advantage. The fact that TNC didn't take the mid, OG will have the lane equilibrium. Who cares about Rax when you can go for Throne? Is that what they're coming back in for again? The IO does have relocate, so Crick can bring No Tail back at any time. And with Miracle up, it might be a Throne race. No Tail hitting on the T4. Uh, can they really do this? No. TNC went back in, they finished up the melee in mid. They're handed at this point in the game, especially with Roshan with another short respawn, just 15 seconds, and looks like Aum will he get wind of it. Nope. And I'm loving this Observer Ward on bottom lane. Once again, the warning from TNC has been brilliant. They see the Tiny and the IO moving around, so Tiny under the cover of Shadow Blade. He'll move up, he'll find Vengeful Spirit, he'll talk to him, but then the Chrono moving down, Crip was able to find the kill, Moon backing, trying to keep the face boy out of the fight, Miracle and Jordan Crip with the gun, it's on up for Raven, in fact now it exposes Raven, they move over, Tiny has his blink dagger available, Void will instantly buy back, nothing to work with at all, I'll end up denying it out, all the lanes being pressured, Moon was taking care of the bottom and TNC, they're gonna try and find any kind of opening, they don't have everybody with them however, the Huskar's not in the neighborhood, and they just walk into no tail. a break three, tiny, well there's your shallow grave and a corner has been, no tail fall out, Moon gonna try and create his face and back into a three man wall, pulling into Sam, but Rave is still the man doing the damage, you can keep him locked in, but now Rave with the damage to fly, will it be enough, you need this drone range to do some lifting, fly will drop, two heroes on the sideline, they buy back in the V and almost finding the kill on the TPing out crit. Miracle also home safely. But that's two heroes down. Instant buyback comes out from the tiny. Crit has relocate. So if they want to, they can just jump to the top lane. Fortification. Actually wasn't even burnt by TNC. Anything else? Like he's still gonna sell the S and Y. He might just be looking for Monkey King Bar. Yeah, Monkey King Bar versus the solo press. Bottom useful. lane, Kuku, out too far. Hit by that Silver Edge. He'll have protection. BKB will come out. He needs more health, however. And it's coming in the void. He gets a three man chrono, but they swap out No Tail. It's all out Raven to attack into him. And No Tail so far away from the fight. The tiny's down with no buyback. All that was lost was the BS and the void. But you're still okay with that. You keep your two primary sources of damage up. Kuku and Raven. They will survive. That's the Dazzle. All these things they keep using to, like, perfection. And it doesn't allow OG to finish it. All I want to see from Miracle is, yeah, there she is. We have ourselves a rapier. On to the Ember Spirit. We almost hit the hour mark as TNC. They'll enter the mid. Do they go for a GG push? Yep, they are. They're attacking the T4 towers. Are ready to jump forward. Critic, he needs help now. That wall will be enough. Cuckoo still there. The Chrono Spirit on two. Cuckoo right next to it. No doubt going to go down. No buyback. They're going for the T4. Ember now. The Rampion's gone. And this is it. That's TNT. Done it. Wow, look at them cheering in the booth. They have to be so incredibly happy with that win. And net worth does not matter that much anymore. Sam H with the faces void hit. Zero kills on him, but the, all of those chronospheres on all of those cores, OG, eliminated on day number two.